beast and there'll be more cut. Uh, this is a 5 aught hook and it's got the little band right there to keep your keep your worm on there. Head through, straight through, and then come out the side, go around, all the way to that little hook, twist it, measure about where you're going to go, right about there, get your hook through, and slide your hook and keep your hook inside. See how it's not coming out right there? That's the way I like to fish the river. Uh, because there's so much sags right now But that's it right there Now that hooks a lot more low profile uh, The secret to this worm right here is You want to do it real slow and you don't need to cast it out super far You want to actually get it near the bank Cast it out like that. Let that thing fall all the way. You want it to go down, and then once it hits the bottom, you're reeling it real slow. The setup is made not to get snagged. So the slower you go, the better. These fish are coming out when it's nice and calm and quiet. When there's no boats going by, they come out of their hiding spots. That's why nighttime fishing is excellent for striper. Actually, sturgeon too, but striper, you can catch some nice striper at nighttime just because the big smart ones, they come out at night when it's calm. Or just keep reeling this thing in real slow. As you're reeling it in, keep that tip pointed down. And the slower, the better. nice and easy and don't worry you'll you'll be able to tell the difference between a snag and an actual bite now this water's real real dirty still so you got to go nice and easy let it scrape on that bottom and through all them weeds because right now the water still is up pretty high. Um, so there is a lot of weeds on the bank normally where there wouldn't be weeds. So still finding a spot on the river is um, a little tough still. But like I said, it's getting better and better. And the striper are definitely, definitely here and running. We'll have to see uh, how that derby, derby went after this weekend here. I'm sure it's pretty crazy with a bunch of boats there at the Feather River today. Tip down nice and easy. You can feel your, your weight and your, your worm hitting stuff. If you feel it hitting stuff, then you're doing it right. If you don't feel anything, then you're probably going a little too fast. I got a pretty heavy weight on here. I got a three quarter ounce weight. You can go half inch or quarter. Just try different weights for different lures. See that, that almost felt like a bite right there. And that's where they'll bite. They'll bite right at, right at the bank right there. Just cast it out, let it drop. And you can see my line starting to drop and starting to drift downstream and right when it does that then that's when you start to reel it's real nice and easy you want this worm to go down in little pockets and if there's some kind of 
hill or, or wall under the water you can't see, you want it to drop down. 